our own most difficult crisis came when we had, there was a young man uh, called Leo Xiang who had helped us cover uh, Tsinghua University. He was a, a student and he had once registered us in the more open time to get into Tsinghua. And uh, afterward, there was in this crackdown uh, that got him into trouble. He was interrogated regularly about it. Finally, he thought he was about to be arrested and he fled. He ended up uh, being imprisoned and he escaped from prison and came back to Beijing and asked for our help. You know, we, <laughs> Cheryl and I just agonized over that. The, the one thing that is pretty clear in journalistic ethics is that you don't help an escaped felon flee the country. Uh, and if we did that, we'd be not only breaking Chinese law, we'd be also risking the closure of the New York Times Bureau. We knew we couldn't ask our editors for advice because A, the phone lines were tapped, but B, I mean, they, they could never endorse us risking the closure of the New York Times Bureau. On the other hand, here's a 19-year-old kid who was in trouble because he had helped us and the New York Times readers. If we didn't help him, he was going to be caught at some point, and who knows what would happen to him. Um, and we just agonized over our moral responsibilities there. Um, and uh, it was also a little bit complicated because we worried that this might be a, an effort to set us up, uh, that it was a time when the government uh, didn't like my reporting and appeared to be trying to kick us out of the country. And it occurred to us that they might have let him out of prison so that he would then compromise us, catch us, you know, breaking law, and then kick us out of the country. And uh, it was, it was an immensely difficult uh, decision. But we finally decided we just had to help him. You know, we helped him in a way with as few fingerprints as we possibly could. Uh, he was able to escape to Hong Kong, and I flew down the next day and uh, helped him get to the States. And uh, he is now in the U.S. It was enormously unprofessional and yet absolutely the right thing to do.